In this video, I'm going to show Cantor's diagonal argument fails, which is an update of a previous video, and I'm also going to show that the real numbers are countable. To begin with, I'll just briefly review Cantor's diagonal argument, which I got from the Wikipedia article. And Cantor's diagonal argument says there are uncountable, basically proves that there are uncountable sets where countable means one-to-one, -one. Uh, a countable set is one-to-one -one with the natural numbers. And Cantor's proof proceeds as follows. Uh, let T be the set of all infinite binary sequences and assume they are countable and list them. Then construct an infinite binary sequence S not in T. Contradiction, T is not countable. Therefore, uh, there are uncountable sets. Now the construction, Cantor's construction is as follows. Uh, up here we have digits in the sequence and here we have the sequence. Uh, the digits in the sequence are, according to uh, Cantor's diagonal argument, there are an infinite number of digits in the sequence. In other words, it just goes on infinitely, whatever that means. All right, then if we list the, and then assuming the sequences are listable, then we list them as one, two, down to, we have countably infinite. In other words, we have a countably, if they're listable, we have a countably infinite number of sequences. So I've given an example here of uh, some sequences, and the way the argument proceeds is this first digit is changed to a one, the second digit in the second sequence is changed to a zero, the third sequence in the, the third digit in the third sequence goes from a zero to one, and so on. So that I ha by the time I get to the end, assuming I get to the end, I have a sequence one zero one one zero zero, which is different than every sequence, than every countable sequence. For example, one the the, the first uh, d infin d count d infinite. The first digit is different than s one. D infinite is different than s one because the first dif digit is different than the first digit of s one. It's different than the second sequence because the second di digit of d infinite is different than the second di 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 digit of s2, and so on. And so there, there is now, we've proved that, assuming that they're, they're, all the sequences are listable, we have found a sequence that's not listable in the contradiction, and that proves Cantor's diagonal argument that they're uncountable sets. Now, there's a problem. Infinity, infinity isn't really defined. Now, if you define, if infin infinity means greater than countable infinity, then you've, oh, you've assumed that you, what you're trying to prove that there are more digits than, count, than uh, countably infinite digits, and Cantor's diagonal argument fails. On the other hand, if you assume infinity means countably infinity, then there are more sequences than there are digits, and for all, for all, all the digits, there are more sequences than there are digits, and you run out of Cantor's diagonal number, or Cantor's diagonal sequence ends before you get to the end of the sequence, and Cantor's diagonal argument also fails. Right, schematically, I think this is what it looks like. If, if this is S1 going to an countable, countable infinity of sequences, and uh, if I have an infinite and ending number of digits, my uh, D infinity can be calculated because I can complete the diagonal. On the other hand, if there's a countable infinity of digits, then I can't find D infinity because I run out of digits before I run out of sequences, and that's because, and this is the, the core of the argument, n digits lead to 2 to the n sequences for all n. Now, uh, as, as an example, uh, let me just show uh, 
the case of, of, of three digits. I'm going to ca ca calculate Cantor's. I'm going to do Cantor's diagonal argument for the case of three digits. All right, then I have S1, S2. These three digits give rise to eight sequences. Now, if I start to calculate Cantor's uh, diagonal element, I get for this one, zero goes to one, this zero goes to one, this one goes to zero, and that's it. I'm finished. I can't go any further. Now, the one, one, zero is in the set because there it is. It's down here. And the reason it's in there is because I couldn't complete the diagonal. So, uh, that's basically the argument. And I've written it out here a, a little more formally. And uh, I, I'll repeat it here. Uh, if infinity means greater than canonically in infinity, Cantor's diagonal argument also fa automatically fails you assume, because you are assuming what you are trying to prove, that there are more uh, elements than there are countable elements. Now, if infinity means countable infinity, Cantor's diagonal argument also fails. Now, definition of countable infinite sequence, A1, A2, An, uh, is a definition of a countable infinite se of a countable infinite sequence is a one a two n specified for all n and a i are binary or decimal or radix digits. Now n digits give rise to two to the n sequences for all n. So Cantor's diagonal Cantor's array is always longer than wide, and you have this situation where you can't finish the construction. Finally, a countable, a countable infinite sequence of binary digits uniquely represents a natural number. Because it uniquely represents a natural number. Uh, decimal re now, decimal representation of, of, of a positive real number uh, can be expressed as n dot n, where the dot n is all, all real numbers in the interval 0 to 1. Now, the notation, decimal notation, looks like this. Where we have powers of 10 on this side and negative powers of 10 on that side. So a, a typical uh, decimal number would, would look something like this, 127.039, where it's in, in the decimal system, where we have a countable, countably infinite number of, of, of digits, the zeros are assumed. So 127 is really 0, 0, countably infinite zeros in that direction. And 039 is 039, 0, 0, countably infinite zeros in that direction. Now, the real numbers uh, in 0 to 1 are countably infinite because they consist of, be, be, because they, uh, be, because they consist of, uh, each, each one is a natural number. Each, each sequence to the right of the decimal point is a natural number, so automatically the real numbers in 0, 1 are countable. Uh, they can be mapped, each, each decimal fraction in 0, 1 can be mapped uniquely to n, by mirror mapping, by, by, by a mirror mapping. For example, uh, 0.03970, infinite number of zeros, maps to 0397, infinite number of zeros. And a binary example is 0 0.00110, infinite zeros, maps to the natural number 00110, infinite zeros. Thank you.